In this video, we will cover the assembly of our version 10 printer. After removing all parts from the box, the first assembly step is to attach the Y motor bracket. The screws for this bracket will already be in place and will need to be taken out and then put back in, or they will be taped into the bracket itself, ready for assembly. If you are using power tools to tighten fasteners and screws, be sure to not over tighten them too much. After attaching the motor bracket, you can now attach the Y motor. There is a keyway on the coupler that needs to be aligned with the shaft on the Y rail. After the coupler is in place, you can also tighten a set screw on it to give it a more permanent connection. Be sure that the motor connections are facing the rear of the machine when installing the Y motor. You can also plug in the motor connections at this time. We will now put on the base place of the machine. You can do this by yourself by propping the machine up, or you can have someone assist you and hold it in place. There will be four screws per plate. They will be taped in the plate ready for installation, or they will be screwed into the bottom of the rail, where the plates are installed. We will now install the bat, or printer bed, on the X-Rail. The screws for this should be included in the parts box. On our larger size machines, the bat needs to be placed correctly on the X-Rail. The shorter side of the bat needs to face the rear of the machine. This is the same side that the X-Rail motor is on. If the bat is placed on incorrectly, it will crash into the base of the machine, potentially damaging it. Be sure that this does not happen. The next step is to attach the X rail to the Y rail. There should be four screws in place, which need to be taken out and then put back to fasten the rails together. Before bringing the two rails together, ensure that the X rail motor wire is not twisted around. If needed, you can flip the whole X rail to untangle this wire. Before tightening these four screws all the way down, be sure to put all of them in and then tighten them evenly. If not already in place, you can now install the Y rail screw guard. This cover is just to protect the rail from dust and debris. When putting the extruder on, make sure that the anti-rotator is mounted on top of the extruder. You can take the extruder and place it in its mounting bracket and latch it closed. The final step is to plug in the extruder motor. If there is Velcro on the extruder motor, please use it to help secure the connection. The printer is now fully assembled and ready for use.